guys, welcome back to the channel. It's TPM5 here and today I'm going to be talking about the tragic case of Bobby Phils and the sad, sad story behind the only Jersey retirement in the history of the Charlotte Hornets. Bobby Phils was an NBA player who played for the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Charlotte Hornets. He also spent time overseas for um, a team in Spain. He was known as a tenacious wing defender at about 6 foot 5 inches and around 220 pounds. And it was said that he resembled more of an NFL player than an actual NBA talent. Michael Jordan stated in 1996 that Bobby Fools was the toughest defender that he'd ever played against following a game where he was held to 9 26 shooting by Bobby Fools. Bobby Phils was will always be remembered as a hard-working player who fought his way up from the G League into the NBA as he was drafted with the 45th pick in the second round but then was cut by the Bucks and had to work his way through the G League to make his way to the NBA. Bobby Phils averaged a career total of points per game of 11. He averaged 44% from the field and 39 from three and he was a true um, 3 and D guy back in the 90s as much as he could have been. Obviously three, the three point shot hadn't taken off by then but Bobby Fools was a great three point shooter and would be a valuable player to any team let alone the Hornets. Bobby Fools played about six seasons in Cleveland and then he ended up playing his last three years in the Charlotte Hornets. He left behind a legacy in Charlotte which was strong enough to have his jersey retired and on the night of the event it was January 12th 2000 he was driving down the motorway with fellow teammate David Wesley and he was said to have been driving at a speed of 100 miles per hour or 160 kilometers per hour when his Porsche 1997 car crossed into the western bound lanes into the, into oncoming traffic and then tragedy happened. Did you get that one dead? Yes ma'am. Can you tell me if anyone is trapped in the vehicle sir? Uh, we're the police here now. Just before 11 o'clock this morning, 30-year-old Bobby Ray Phils died in a three-car collision about the 1500 block of West High Vola Road. Mr. Phils, as you know, was a member of the Charlotte Hornets basketball team. Initial indications are that Mr. Phils was traveling at a very high rate of speed. His 1997 Porsche went out of control, crossed into the westbound lanes, and was struck in the driver's door area by another vehicle. A fourth car, driven by Mr. David Wesley, also a member of the Charlotte Hornets, was in close proximity to the collision and has been identified by a witness also as being driven at a high rate of speed at the time. To the dismay of his family and the wider NBA community, and many people still today feel the effects of the events of that day. The Charlotte Hornets retired his jersey on February 9th, 2000, in a game against the Cleveland Cavaliers, Bobby Phil's former team, and it was the first number the Charlotte Hornets had ever retired and have ever retired to this day. It continued to hang in Charlotte until the team moved to New Orleans. In 2004, the NBA added an expansion team, the Charlotte Bobcats, and then the New Orleans team rebranded themselves as the New Orleans Pelicans, thereby relinqu relinquishing the Hornets' name and their previous history in Charlotte, giving it back to the Bobcats. The Bobcats then became the Hornets again and emerged the team's past 10 years into a new history for the franchise, thus allowing Bobby Phil's jersey to be re-hung up on November 1st, 2014, following the kerfuffle of expansion and um, rebranding issues. Bobby Phil's le was left behind his parents and his wife along with three children, Brittany Dixon, a son Bobby Ray Phil's III who was also known as Trey and played at Yale and now plays in J League, and a second daughter Kirsty. Kirsty played college basketball as well, first starting at Wagner and then eventually becoming a red shirt sophomore for Florida Gulf Coast University. In an interview a few years after the event, Kendall Bobby Phil's former wife just stated that he was an amazing guy, kind-hearted and cared a lot for everyone else and was just a lovely person to be around. I truly feel for the family that was left behind and I hope that nothing like this happens in the future and we'll never forget Bobby Phil's and what he brought to the league and also the family he left behind and this is the true grit and determination he played with and the inspiration he left for many.